another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to create an HDR image from a single file. So the file I'm going to use is this one here. It is a landscape from Rab Croatia. So I took it in the raw format, which is necessary to use this technique. So bring it into Photoshop, just drag and drop it. Now to create the HDR image, we want to get two different images or more than that, but I'll be using two get those two images into Photoshop with two different exposure settings. So the first one, I'm going to look at these buildings down here, and that's going to be my lighter area. So I'll bring up the exposure a little bit, uh, adjust the color temperature to where I think it is good. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'll click open image, and then I'm going to go back into bridge and drag and drop it into Photoshop again. And now I'm going to be looking at the sky, so I'm going to bring down my exposure a lot. And you can see because the image was taken in raw format, uh, there's a lot of information in the whites that wouldn't have been in there if I had taken it in a JPEG. So I can pull this down and I'm going to give it a bit of more blue and I can bring up the blacks a bit. All right, so I'll keep it there. You can see this here foreground is extremely dark, but I'm just looking at this guy. So I'll click open image and now you can see I have the same image except the two. So um, to get this in the other file, I'm going to copy it all, so up to select all, or press control A, and then copy, go to your other image, and paste it in. Now you have them as two layers on top of each other, and create a layer mask, and then for the first step I'm just going to create a gradient, so go over to the gradient tool, make sure you have white and black, you can press the D button, or this here, to select the defaults, and then make sure you're on this here foreground to background gradient and your just regular line. And then draw your gradient in the right direction and you can see the two blended images. Now I have some sort of problems up here which I'll correct with the patch tool. You'll have to check out a tutorial on that if you're not sure how they work. Alright, and now to adjust the layers individually with curves, I'm going to create a adjustment layer of curves. And now to make it only affect this layer below, or first I'll show you, right now if I make an adjustment, it will affect the whole image. But if I press this here, link down, it'll link to the layer below, and now it will only affect the sky. So that's what I want to do. I'll pull up my highlights a bit and create some good contrast and then I'll make another curves there for the bottom area and now I've just done a gradient to merge these two layers together but if you want to go in and brush on the layer mask you can and bring out some more highlights in specific areas of the image if you're not sure how layer masks work you can check out a tutorial on those but if you paint a few specific areas in your layer mask, you can create a nice effect. And to finish things off here, I'm going to create a little bit of a vignette. And maybe I'll bring out this edge a little bit more too. And a little more contrast in the water perhaps. And there you have it. There's the after and the before. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.